Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to our live. I'm Heather and we come to you live each and every day, Monday through Thursday, so you can learn about Luminous, what we have to offer. Um, you get to see it being done. So I start with no makeup on and then we go to makeup, thank goodness. Uh, but I do have my eyebrows on. Um, and so we go through everything. We go through your starter kit. So we go through what you get, what you receive, the foundation, everything. Um, and so we have people at all different levels of airbrushing, whether you're brand new, whether you're wanting it, whether you're, you've been airbrushing for years, uh, we have everybody on here. And so, um, welcome. We love to have you here. Uh, if there's good morning, Cindy, if there's anything that you want to see, if there's products that you want to see or anything like that, let us know. Cause we'd be more than happy to, um, to do that. So hello, Pam. Hello, Marilyn. Hello, Veronica. Yeah, we're live. Hello. How are you guys? So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. We always like to show the beginnings, like I said, and so I'm going to show you one of our systems. This is the icon. We also have the icon legend or whew, Lord have mercy. We have the icon, the icon pro and the legend. And then we also have the breeze which is the one that I'll be using today. And um, the Breeze is our new chargeable cordless one. It is amazing uh, and everybody loves it. So we'll go over that. And then when you first get started, the this is what we want you to do when you're getting started. So make sure you're four finger widths away from your face. You're gonna keep it at that distance all the time. Do, 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 do. Moving it around, moving it around not a race you don't have to do this but you're gonna bam 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 keeping it four finger widths barely pull back on this trigger and but always constantly moving the breeze or your stylus because you're never in one spot twice but there's overlap and so and that is how you get your coverage is by going back and making some passes so you will want to practice that while you are getting started so um Hello, hello, Hernandez. Good to see you. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to use, I'm going to use our um, Rose Shade 3. And Rose is going to give you full coverage. It's going to give you medium to full coverage. Um, thank you. I do remember that movie. Um, and then I'm also using Glow, and I'm using Glow as a highlighter underneath my eyes. Now, it doesn't matter what coverage you want, Luminous can do that for you. Now, between the Silk 4-in-1 and the Rose 4-in-1, Silk is going to start you at a sheer to medium coverage, and then Rose is medium to full coverage. And so it really does, um, the, the full coverage, and this is another thing you have to think about, if you're wanting full coverage with Luminous, it's not giving you that makeup look. It just means it's higher pigmentation in the makeup, and so it's going to cover faster. But if you're airbrushing the proper way, if you're airbrushing the right way, it's still not going to look heavy or cakey. Okay, so don't you have to get that out of um, out of your head? You, how many times have you heard me say we have to retrain our brains into thinking luminous and um, and airbrushing versus traditional makeup? This blends as we're putting it on. When you do traditional makeup, that's not what happens. Um, it should always feel light and airy. It should never feel wet or sticky. And so those are things that you need to think about when you are airbrushing. So, all right. Hey, Martin. Hello, Luminous. So I am going to start out with some pre-coverage. And as you can probably tell, I have done some tanning. Um, and so I'm going to drop, do maybe just a couple of drops of glow. And that's going to give me that highlighted look underneath. And you can tell I messed up on my hands. Uh, that's going to give me that highlighted look underneath, okay? Now, if I put concealer on the traditional way, I'm going to have like that demarcation line. And then we blend it out. Hey, Andrea, how are you? Um, and with Luminous, you don't have that because it's blending for you, okay? So I'm turning my system on. Underneath my eyes, I'm going to make my movements first, then lightly pull down on my trigger. And I kind of blend it all the way down to here, okay? 
Now, do I want more coverage? Yes. So what do I do? I'm going to go back. Um, Joyce, so there's a couple of, <laughs> couple of uh, questions that I'm going to do my lids to. Um, so the breeze does have a cutoff. Hey, Delbert, good to see you. The breeze does have a cutoff. And so after, I think it's like 10, 15 minutes, it will shut off. Now, if you're like just starting, let me start covering that a little bit. If you're just starting your breeze and you're moving that, now I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because <laughs> I need to get it out quickly. Um, I sprayed a little bit too heavy under this eye, so I'm gonna go in and what am I doing? Tapping it out. Tapping it out. Okay, so you can do that. You have a little bit of time, a little bit of wiggle room to fix that, okay? And then I can go back. All right, so there we started the highlight uh, where it'll give me that natural highlight underneath my eyes, but not too dramatic, not what I call the reverse raccoon. Um, it's just a little bit that's going to take it up a notch. Um then I'm going to come in and I'm going to powder. Now, back to Joyce's question about it turning off. Yes, there is a timer that's there. The one thing that you guys you want to remember is do not leave your um, airbrush plugged in. Pick one day a week to charge it, and that's the day that you charge it, and then you don't, you know, you don't charge it the rest of the week. Sometimes, if it's turning off by itself, we need to do a reset. Um, and like, if it's turning off after a few seconds, uh, Joyce, then we do it, we'll do it like a reset on it. And then you can, and I'm going to give you all a little tip. Number one, when you reach out to our customer service, our customer service is amazing. Hands down. Amazing. Anytime you call a customer service facility on a Monday, it is always busy. So have patience on a Monday. If you cannot call on a Monday, I would do that. If I were you guys, I would jump on our Facebook page and direct message them. You can message them. That's answered by people in here in our facility. Um, just give them all the details. So Joyce, you can say, Hey, my breeze is shutting off. I know there's a timer, but it's doing it before that. Heather told me. Um, and then, um, she said and you can say like hey she told me something about a factory reset or a reset that we can do that will help it because what happens is you may have charged it when your battery wasn't as depleted like if you charge it too often it'll screw up the something <laughs> the technical term so just think about that all right um Oh, wow. That's awesome. She had freckles that she wanted to pass uh, to to cover. That's great. Hello, Zandra. How are you? Andrea, are you shaking it up, babe? Make sure you shake it up, but it should be peach. It should be peach, but it should, um, you should, um, wait, I was like, am I, Deborah, did I say hi to you? Hello um hi david how are you so the peach color corrector should come out peach just make sure you do shake it uh make sure it's really good and shake it shake shake um and it and it might be it might be off in color um you can call customer service the at the bottom of every bottle it has a lot number you'll want to give the customer service that lot number uh, but it shouldn't be white, but it is peach. Okay. All right. So now I have on the what pre-coverage or my highlight. Now I'm going to use my shade three. And I'm going to blow this out. I'm getting a little nervous because I haven't charged my um my breeze so i'm hoping it'll last so i just don't have an inspire on me all right all 
my trigger isn't working right either the fine mist stops and get a blast um i just splattered my screen so yeah joyce call customer service babe hold on i'm gonna use my other one because i used the wrong shape that's what that's what happens when you uh oh i think mine's not charged okay it is okay <laughs> So do as I say, not as I do. Let's see if this one works. Okay, there we go. All right, so I just um, put my drops in here. I'm gonna hurry up and airbrush this on because I feel, since I haven't charged it, it's going to on me. Yep. Then we can get a little more out of it. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Let me see if I can switch to this. Ah. All right. Let's see if I can switch to this one real quick. Is that one going to work? Nope. 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 All right. Do as I say, not as I do. Let me see if I can get a little more out of that. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so I got the coverage that I want, but you do get coverage by making the passes. So definitely make passes to get more coverage. And like I was saying earlier, if you are wanting more coverage, all you have to do is make more passes. It's done by light passes, meaning don't try, you know, when we're uh, doing traditional makeup, we're like cover, 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 cover cover and then blend, blend, blend. When we don't have to do that with luminesce, it's all about those light passes. So when we first start out that first pass, you may question whether or not it's even coming out. Um, and that's okay because then you can make another pass and then another pass. And you'll start seeing when I did under my eyes, you saw me go, ba, 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 you keep going until you get that coverage that you want. And the other great thing is you don't have to put the same amount of makeup everywhere. So if I don't need all the coverage on my forehead and I need it just in this area here, that's what where I do my coverage. And that's where I make my passes to get the coverage in those areas. OK, all right. So now I'm going to go in. And you know which one eyeshadow I grab. I always grab my nude and ultra. Um, right now I'll do. Let's do. Where'd that brush go? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm afraid to move it because it's part of my brushes. Okay, good. All right, so now I'm going to take an angled brush with my cut one palette. And I'm going to go in here and do a little bit of contouring. Now, I know a lot of you are nervous about contouring, but what contouring does is just adding a little your shape back to your face. So I do a little bit of my temples. So I'm under here to hide this. And then do you want to... Uh, no, not now. I don't know what that means. And you don't have to do a lot. Now you can do this with airbrush. Ooh, I messed up on my hands. You can do this with airbrushing. Um, I do it first. And then that way, when I get to um, the foundation, it blends everything together. And so you can, you can even do contouring with just a shade darker than your foundation. Because a lot of people get confused about like what, because people say, well, I want to look darker. Okay, but you're not darker. So like your foundation needs to match your face. And then you can add contouring, you can add bronzer, you can add things to create some depth to your face. But don't, don't try to get your face darker than it is, or even lighter than it is. 
do your face color, okay? <laughs> now I'm going to grab the vanilla bean, which has a little bit of shimmer. Yes, Cindy. This is live. Um, Cindy said, practice contouring before taking off your makeup. Yes, always practice something new. Got it in my hair before taking off your makeup. That is a great way to see one, if you like it, if it works, if it's something you're gonna wanna do, if you're good at it, if you can do it, instead of doing it when you're running late to a business meeting or because then it, there's pressure, there's, um, you're like, oh, no, no. but if you do it before you take your makeup off, it's fun, you just do it, do it to it. All right. Now, let's see, what do I want to do now? Let's go ahead. I'm going to go in with the Optics eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to take a flat. I'm going to try I'm going to do a little different, different. I'm going to take my flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to use Reflection, which is the mauve pinky mauve color, and I'm going to do that on my lid. All on my lid. And notice I'm not swiping, I'm just tapping. If you need to, you can do this. To get everything on the lid that if you have a wrinkle or a crinkle on the lids, you can bam, there you go. Okay. Oh, I'm out of focus, focus, focus. Bam, bam. Okay. All right. So I just did this on my lid. Now you guys know how I love just showing you easy ways to, um, to do stuff. So that I just did tap that right on my lid, nothing. Now I'm going to take just a clean blending brush and I'm going to blend that harsh edge. Thank you. Hi, Amber. So I just blended that harsh edge. See the difference? Just going back and forth, back and forth. I never pick up the brush. And you can get, if I had some, you can get a paper towel, a tissue, wipe it off, and then go back and blend that harsh edge. You can be done with that. Like, as long as that harsh edge is blended, you're done. If you wanted to take it up a notch, you could. So I could even go in with a little bit of that mauve color and do it right underneath my eye for a um, for my liner. Now, listen to me real quick. I'm tan right now, tanner. Um, my I have dark hair, dark features. Mauve can be tricky if you're blonde, fair skin. Okay. Make sure you might need to balance it off a little bit just because it could start looking like a bruise. And so we don't want that. And so just keep that in mind when doing it. If you wanted to, you can go back with a neutral brown or even um, like a um, gray or something. You could do that in the crease. You could even take, I'm going to take the darker brown. And kind of blend that just super light right here just giving it a hit just giving it a hit a hint of something else just to make them pop a little bit more so you can always take it up or leave it right there if you were in a hurry wanted to you know do something where you look professional uh, and just take it Take it up a notch just by adding a little bit of color there. Okay. So you don't need to spend an hour doing your makeup. One, Luminous is going to save you time. Even if you're wanting full coverage, um, it's going to save you time when you don't have to spend 12 hours doing your makeup. We did eyeshadow with just one shade. I could even take um, my Cut One palette 
and that shimmer color that I use down my nose and even using this brush, I can go back in there and lightly dust it across my eye. Okay, look, this big old brush, I'm just boop, done. So make things easier for you. Don't make them difficult, right? We need to make them as easy as possible. All right, so now, get that guy out. Take my lash curler. And do that. And then I'm gonna add my mascara. Never go out of the house without my mascara. Is that the same as positioning the eye color? Yes. Andrea, yeah. So Andrea just asked a good question on YouTube. She asks, is that um, the same as as transitioning the eye color? Yes. You hear that a lot um, where they're like, oh, use this as your transition color. So there are a lot of different steps. Like you can go dark, medium, light, or light, medium, dark. So there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, but as my transition color, I'm blending that edge. And so it ends up going lighter when it goes up. So it goes medium or kind of a medium, lighter, light. Does that make sense? So you can tradition with the transition with the same color as long as you blend it. Does that make sense? Okay. So now the mascara is still out. I have to ask him. I would have expected it to be back. Because mascara makes such a difference. I'm trying not to show you my mess up tan on my hand. Let's do it. I use this mirror. I love the brush. Because I'm able, because that end is so tiny, I'm able to like doo -doo -doo -doo, put that on there. A lot of times if the brush is too big, like I cannot even tell you how many times like I've scraped my eyeball um, from putting mascara on too quickly or um, where I'm not paying attention. I know, not paying attention. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so now let's go in, because I did want to use this one, yeah, one product that we haven't used in forever, and it's my mom's favorite. She loves this. She's always like, can you give me more of this? Um, it's the Temptation Eyeliner. Um, I love this, and if you, I know a lot of you use the Persuasion Eyeliner, which is the, the like a pen, like a um, little penny pen pen. And it's awesome because it just goes whoosh, and you don't get the hiccups or anything. And then this is our liquid eyeliner. Same thing. You're just going to tickle the eyeliner or the lash line and, um, and create, you can do a thick line or thin line. People always ask me too. They're like, okay, when do I do a thick line? When do I, honestly, if I mess up, it's going to be thicker. If I didn't, it'll be thin. Uh, so you honestly, you can play with that. It depends on the look you want. Um, <laughs> Jeannie's like, I need that eyeliner bad. Um, oh, I ta I was tanning. I was actually tanning someone and didn't put my gloves on. And it, and I was like, I had to pat some of it and uh, messed up. I wasn't paying attention. And then my, just so you know, my seven-year-old tanned me and she did a darn good job. Uh, let's do, I was going to do that one, but I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to go in with, this is um, Blackberry. Is it Blackberry? Yeah, Blackberry. I was going to do the Naughty Pink, but I, I feel like that's too obvious with my, um, outfit. So let's do this one. But I am going in and I use a dab of 
of the lip jelly. Just the, just the GM. <laughs> it could. It would be a very messy tattoo. And then coloring the lips. And I will tell you, the one thing I do like about the Temptation eyeliner, which I'll tell you in a minute after I put my lips on, uh, and I'll do one side so you can see it. It definitely, that mauve color makes my green eyes ba -bam, stand out. Now, because I put a little bit of the lip jelly on, it's not going on as hard, like as bright, which is what I wanted. And then I can move that around. And then you could add a little bit more just to get a little bit of a shine to it. So you could use a gloss, you could use, you know, whatever you have, but I love using our lip liners, coloring them in. I know, I know Cindy, I know we've been out of that a while too. I'm just going to move it. So I, everything's, everything has been matte, but lately I've been loving like a, um, a real juicy lip. Um, real bright, not bright, but just glossy. I've been digging it. Um, on the other bottoms. Makeup. Mia, um, you got your April shipment. Yay. And you love the four in one makeup comes out with no problem. So honey, just make sure you're shaking it up, shaking it up, shaking it up. I know that I say that a lot, but shake them up. You can do this to kind of warm it up a little bit. Shake it up, shake it up. Because if something has a higher pigment in it, the pigments are going to be a little bit um, um, heavier. And so you might need that extra shake it up. All right. All right. Let's do this. And then we are good. I'm going to use the Black Diamond uh, Temptation Eyeliner. And I'm going to tickle the lash line. And the brush looks like this. And then I always start kind of in the middle because I feel like if there's a lot on this, I can adjust it if I start in the middle and then I'll go, get to the inside. If that makes sense. So when I do it, I'm going to look down and I do that. I'm going like that. So look how it's not a big change okay but see how thicker the lashes look can you see the difference now i never use liquid eyeliner on the bottom i only use it on the top it's the only place i ever use it even if we had a pencil eyeliner i would use that on the bottom and top but i never use the liquid um on the bottom I feel it's a little bit too harsh looking. Um, so if you did use it, I mean, you can, um, it, you just want to smudge it. So it's not as harsh looking, but see how it just, now, if you wanted to wing that out, you most certainly could, you could do whatever you want to with it. Right. So starting midway, mess that up a little bit, but we'll just do this. right there. Then I'm going to take back to tip. Boom, let's sleep and wipe that bad boy out. And then I can go back and fix them. So this one I did wing out just a little bit, just a little bit to show you 
a little something different. So if you wanted to elongate your eyes out, you could do you could do that. So it doesn't have to be that big dramatic. It could be just a little one. So I'm just going to come up here and there. And then we're done. So these are really, I think I like this brush too, because it's very thin. So you can get a real thin line. However, um, it's not long, long. So there's enough room to work with it. That makes sense. All right, there you go. I think I do like this one with the liner on it, for sure. For sure. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you back here tomorrow for our wake up and brush. Hope to see everybody here. Thank you guys for all the questions. We had a good number on YouTube. We had a good number on Facebook. We are here for you guys. If you need a, to book an appointment, remember, click that link. And you can book an appointment. Uh, we're here for you guys, okay? We do small group classes. Um, and so you can, it's noon on Mondays and Wednesdays. You can book a class and you get that one-on-one -on -one attention. We talk about whatever problems, questions, situations you're having, and we go from there. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.